but in order to truly appreciate culture, you have to appreciate the people that it comes from. Hi guys, Essence here. So, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making a more serious video talking about a topic that's very close to home for me. Um, I'll be talking about like being a black K-pop YouTuber. So as you guys all know, I started my channel off of my My Take videos where I talk about an issue in K-pop regardless of whether it's about like cultural appropriation or even fans bashing a member or even a scandal they're in, like a bullying scandal for example. I give my take on that topic. However, I decided it was time to talk about why my My Take videos are always the hardest ones for me to film. So my My Take videos usually centered around calling out idols for, these, for things like cultural appropriation. Those are the ones that are the most popular for me. They're the ones that bring in the most views, that bring the most attention to my channel. However, they're also the ones that I hate filming the most. And here's why. So as a black K-pop stan, it's easy to have your culture like just completely disregarded by non-black K-pop stans where yes, it can be frustrating sometimes if you feel like there's always an issue no matter what an idol does, like you might think black stans are always complaining. And sometimes people do complain about things that I necessarily don't find offensive because like as much as I do find offensive, there's some things where I'm like, okay, now we're just nitpicking. But I don't like talk bad about them because you never want to drown out someone else's feelings or invalidate the way someone else feels. Like it's not okay to do that to another black person to invalidate their feelings. But recently I thought about how I haven't been making my take videos as much. My last one was about the in hyphen situation, I believe. Or was it Bong Chan This Is America? It was one of those. But my my take videos are usually my least favorite because of like all the verbal abuse that I receive for those videos. Like you guys, thankfully I have a very strong mental look on things in this world and that I am very strong mentally. Like I don't let comments on YouTube really affect me that much. I just take them in stride. Like I'm just like, you know, they're behind a computer. Would they say this to me in real life? Probably not. So I know I would keep the same energy, but other people may not you know so it is what it is to me but other people may not like agree like when I, I when i read certain malicious comments i think imagine if another young kid black kid saw this comment and how hurt they would be even if i'm not hurt which is why i respond back to a lot of these comments that i receive because like yeah ignoring them is one thing but it's okay for me to ignore them but another black person will see that comment and may be hurt by it so that's why i try to respond to them or get rid of them especially if they're like super super out of pocket i try to get rid of them because like i don't allow hate on my channel when i give my my take videos i never bash people i never hate them i never call them out of their names like i'm very respectful towards the idols even if they have hurt me like I keep my opinion very respectful towards them and I never say anything rude or derogatory about them which is why it's always very confusing to me when people come to my comment section extremely rude or extremely degrading towards what I've said especially because I'm always so respectful in my my take videos I think people don't understand like yes cultural appropriation there has to be a line drawn where you're like okay this is cultural appreciation versus appropriation but as a student here in Korea studying abroad, I think a lot of you guys have to understand that Korea acts differently with black culture versus how they treat black people. So they may like black culture, but a lot of times they don't necessarily like black people, which is a hard pill to swallow because I feel like a lot of K-pop stands sort of idolize South Korea as this wonderful, perfect place when it's just like any country with its own flaws. I also want to talk about like even though yes i do receive a lot of support in my comments it's also disheartening to see that people really don't understand that i feel like black people are the only ones who don't get to like say when it's okay for people not to use their culture yes culture is meant to be shared i love seeing how hip-hop has spread around the world and i love seeing how other people have appreciated hip-hop but in order to truly appreciate culture you have to appreciate the people that it comes from it can't be fetishization and it can't be you appreciate our culture but no you don't 
really like us so um, i just feel like a lot of students don't understand like that's where we're, where we're coming from when we call people out for things like it's okay to get certain hairstyles it's okay to do rap music like i love that i love that people love black culture but you can't love black culture and not like black people or treat them badly when they come to your own country and not all koreans do that a lot of koreans actually are very kind and very sweet but there are some who aren't very kind or very sweet or very nice and who hold a lot of xenophobic and racist views towards black people or foreigners in general so when i make my my take videos and see k-pop stands who have never set foot in korea defending people that they don't know it's always a lot more hurtful because as some someone from this culture is telling you that they're hurt or that this idol has done something wrong and for you to bash me despite my respect and careful explaining of what they're doing wrong and how they can fix it like i've never requested that anyone cancel an idol or that an idol just be like kicked out from their group like if you go through all my videos i've never asked for that for the most part i always target the company first because i'm like you could have stopped this from happening if you never released this content if you didn't allow them to go out with this hairstyle so i find it really interesting how people always rush to attack me when i don't even attack idols in my videos so yeah i thought about it and i was like i know other black k-pop stands have had these issues where once you talk about a group like people always want to say we'll bring up this group bring up that group like we'll bring up all groups if they have done something and it also has to be something recent or something that they have never apologized for because a lot of people like to bring up past things people have already apologized and paid for in full and i to me that's not okay as well um but yeah so i just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what what it's like being a black k-pop youtuber and why i haven't posted a my tech video in a while uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching bye